Now, I heard, and I saw just a little bit of it, but I heard that Mitt Romney made a fairly long speech. <laughs> and, and I mean, honestly, I thought, I'll just address it quickly, because it's irrelevant. Look, <laughs> Mitt is a failed candidate. He failed. He failed horribly. The third debate. <laughs> He failed badly. That was a race, I have to say, folks, that should have been won. That was a race that absolutely should have been run, won. And I don't know what happened to him. He disappeared. He disappeared. And I wasn't happy about it, I'll be honest, because I am not a fan of Barack Obama, and that was a race. And I backed Mitt Romney. I backed him. You can see how loyal he is. He was begging for my endorsement. I could have said, Mitt, drop to your knees. He would have dropped to his knees. He was begging. Sure. Mitt was thinking about running again. He ran a horrible campaign. It was a campaign that should have never been lost. You're running against a failed president. He came up with the 47%. He demeaned 47% of the people in our country, right? The, four, the famous 47%. Once that was said, I'll be honest, once that was said, a lot of people thought it was over for him. So when Mitt started raising his head a few months ago, I was very strong. I said, Mitt Romney should not run. He's a choke artist. And I said it very strongly. And I think he probably still has a desire, maybe at the convention, to try and get some kind of a thing. Hillary Clinton will destroy him in the election. Assuming she's allowed to run, assuming she's not arrested for the email situation. <laughs>